Potterheads unite! Hogwarts Legacy, the new Harry Potter role-playing game, is finally here. And fans are losing it. But what does this game mean for the entire wizarding world? Let's find out. For those of you who don't know, Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open-world RPG where you get to experience life as a wizard or a witch in the Harry Potter universe. The brand new game is being released by Warner Brothers and the masterminds behind Just Cause and Mad Max, Avalanche Studios. One thing is for sure, Avalanche Studios know what they're doing when it comes to open worlds. And they've worked their magic again for Hogwarts Legacy. As far as the gameplay is concerned, Hogwarts Legacy will take you back to the magical world of Harry Potter as you join Hogwarts as a fifth year student in the late 1800s. Yup, that's about a century before the events of the first Harry Potter book. This gives the developers plenty of room to let their imagination soar, while keeping everything totally respectful and true to the original story. Your character is integral to the story because, according to the game's official description, you hold the key to conjure ancient magic. This is also why you've been given a late acceptance to the school in your fifth year, as opposed to starting in your first. And because the game takes place way before Voldemort's existence, the antagonist is a goblin named Ranrock, who wants to lead a rebellion that destroys all wizards, helping the goblins take over. The game was originally supposed to release in 2021, before being pushed back to 2022, but as you might have guessed, that didn't end up happening either. The game had allegedly gone through some development issues that caused a lot of delays. Thankfully though, the official Twitter account for the game officially announced that the game will be releasing on the 10th of February 2023 with a retail cost of $300. But for the die-hard fans of the Harry Potter universe, you also have the option to pay $500 for the collector's edition that's going to give you access to the game 72 hours before its official launch along with other merch and goodies. And let's just say that two decades after we were first introduced to the wizarding world of Harry Potter, the fans can't wait to relive the magic all over again with Hogwarts Legacy. In fact, a lot of people believe that the game is a guaranteed success simply because of how big the Harry Potter franchise already is. From the very beginning, the books were a wild success, and the movies, well, they were no different. The seven books in the series have sold a staggering 500 million copies, and the films, well, the films have earned $7.73 billion at the box office. Top that off with theme parks, merchant spin-offs, and you have one of the most successful fantasy franchises of all time. But all this suffered a setback. The decline in popularity has never been like this, due to J.K. Rowling and the poor success of Fantastic Beast film. Before continuing on this side of the saga, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're really a Potterhead. Or even if you're not, just do it, it'd be kinda cool. Now, back to the dark side. This is where things started taking a turn for the worst, starting with a less than ideal reception for the Fantastic Beast films. Failing to live up to the beloved magic of the original Harry Potter films, both commercially and critically, despite a talented cast and crew, fans just couldn't get their Hogwarts fix. Of course, that's not it. The Harry Potter franchise lost millions of fans and dollars after the Fantastic Beast films were surrounded by controversy around its cast members including Johnny Depp and Ezra Miller. And that is when the fans started talking about whether or not this was the debt of the franchise. But even that was palatable for some. What really drove everything off the edge was when J.K. Rowling made some controversial statements that caused some massive rifts in the fanbase and put an overall damper on the franchise's popularity. J.K. Rowling has been facing consistent backlash for her controversial views on sex and gender, especially concerning the transgender community. Rowling has, time and time again, expressed her rather negative opinion on the community. While everyone tried to ignore it for a while, how long is it before you can't separate the art from the artist? Rowling was shut out from the third installment of the Fantastic Beasts series and, well, the fans didn't want her to be involved with any future projects in the franchise. There's no denying the fact that the Harry Potter books and films will always have a special place in the hearts of the fans, but you have to admit that this is when the franchise was at an all-time low. Daniel Radcliffe, the very face of the franchise, actually went on record to talk about how he wanted to distance himself from Rowling and her views. Radcliffe talked about supporting the queer community, saying that Rowling has hurt her fans with her statements, and he doesn't stand for that at all. The actor also said that he would only return to the franchise if the author had nothing to do with it. 
And to the relief of many fans, Emma Watson took a similar stance, openly stating that she doesn't agree with Rowling's views on the queer community. All of this said, a lot rests on the upcoming game. Why? Well, because the fans expect Hogwarts Legacy to be the Harry Potter revival that we all need. But of course, the most important question here is, does Rowling have anything to do with the game? Because if she does, that's already reason enough for a lot of fans to jump ship. The team working on Hogwarts Legacy has gone on the record to state that J.K. Rowling isn't directly involved with the production or story of the game. Warner Brothers has also gone on record to say that the game might be based on the Wizarding World and its elements, but the game developers have created the entire narrative on their own. But considering the fact that Rowling probably has copyright claims over the world, characters and other fantastical elements of the Harry Potter franchise, it'll be foolish to say that she'll not get anything out of this. According to the developers though, while Rowling is supportive of the game, the design, gameplay, character arcs and just about everything else has been left to the team working on Hogwarts Legacy. And what's even more exciting is the fact that all the developers in the team are Harry Potter fans themselves, so you know that they're going to do justice to the wizarding world. That has, somewhat, canned on the controversy that has been surrounding the game since the release of the first gameplay trailer back in March of 2022. But of course, there are still tons of fans who believe that the gap is not going to be that easy to mend. That's not the only thing that's raising some alarming flags though. In fact, Rowling's anti-trans sentiments are only the tip of the iceberg. Some fans have also been speaking up against the gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy talking about how the idea of a goblin rebellion and that the game's portrayal of the goblins in general is anti-semitic. And let's just say that they all have reason to claim so, because the books weren't any different. The Harry Potter books mentioned the rebellion of the 1800s several times, depicting the goblins as hateful and wrong to demand the same rights as wizards. Now, a lot of fans believe that portraying an oppressed species for wanting to use their magic freely is just not okay. Not to mention the fact that these goblins are direct caricatures of Jewish people, which is even more unacceptable. Even if you do manage to look away from all of this, the fans are also concerned about the amount of freedom that they'll get to explore in the wizarding world of Hogwarts Legacy. From a purely technical point of view, some fans think that the combat shown in the teaser looks a bit too familiar to games like Dark Souls. What that means is that the combat in the game might include dodging, rolling, and repetitive attacks to lower enemies' health. And well, that's a bit dull if you look at what magic duels look like in the films. Thankfully though, some of these concerns have been addressed after the developers released more footage of the game showing higher level combats and feature advanced spells, and even the ability to use transfiguration as a form of defense. And of course, it's always important to remember that with an RPG game set in a universe as expansive as the wizarding world of Harry Potter, there is a lot more to be discovered once you start exploring. Sadly though, this has divided the fans a bit because now they want to wait it out and see if the game is worth buying after the reviews are out. That combined with the fact that delays in the game's PS4 and Xbox One versions are leading to some pre-orders being cancelled has the future of the game in a bit of a limbo at this point. But wait, there is a silver lining for fans here. Hogwarts Legacy is still one of the best selling games on consoles and PC. It's the number one top seller on Steam and Epic Games for PC, even overtaking Dead Space Remake. And the game is thriving on Amazon on the console side for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, with their respective copies hitting the top three best selling game spots. And some fans are even getting their copies a week early. So get ready, because the success of Hogwarts Legacy is about to unleash a tidal wave of amazing Harry Potter content. Just like with Star Wars, we're about to witness a revival of this beloved franchise. So if you're a fan of the franchise, this game is definitely worth checking out. It is exactly what the Harry Potter saga needs to shake things up and get that magical rush going again. Will Hogwarts Legacy revive the saga? Would you like to enjoy another video of this type on another saga? Tell us what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay updated. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and take care.